everybody, this is Brian with Inspiring How You See That, and today we have an amazing interview, and we're really thankful to have Nine Miles Highlight this with me today. So, guys, first of all, thank you so much for this interview. Oh, thanks well, for having us. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to start just by introducing the guys. We've got Greg, Aaron, RJ, TJ, and Scott. So, <laughs> we're here at Odd Bodies, and guys, you guys are going to be opening up for, well, not open, you're actually going to be second to last, or yeah. before yeah. Flaw tonight. Yes. yes. So, how long have you guys been playing together, and how's touring right now? <laughs> touring. <laughs> <Not> touring. <laughs> we play here two weekends in a row. <laughs> we are yeah, just tour. we are touring <laughs> odd bodies hardcore. <laughs> it's uh, we've all been together. I've been here for about a year, little over a year, a little less than a year, a little less than a year. And I don't know how long you've been here. A year, mm -hmm. on and off. Uh, and, okay. and well, no, you've been two years on and off. Yeah. Three years on and, and off. And it's yeah. his baby. So. Yeah. Okay, so you've been since and, the beginning? Yeah, and we started uh, 2000... What year is it? Uh, <laughs> 2013, I think. Okay. Don't quote me on that. So roughly seven, eight years or so? No, it hasn't been that long. It's been about four or five. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> What's going on? The mass, the mass are slowing us down. Yep. Now, we, we have been trying to play as many shows as we can. Um, we have today and then we have next weekend and then we have a little show in Indiana, a little party, if you will. Okay. Um, we got uh, a couple other things for later on in the year. Um, but a lot of stuff's been hit by the COVID. It's been sure. it's yeah. been hard. It's been really hard. Uh, but we, you know, just kind of roll with the punches and just kind of do what we can do. I mean, because this is what we like to do. This right. is what we love to do. That's why we're here. We're not in it for the, the money because that doesn't exist. <laughs> um, <laughs> But you know, it's just, it's for the love of the game, basically. You know, that's sure. what it's what it's all about. And an awesome group of guys. You know, Except know, for him. Yeah, he's an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> but we, it's you know, birdie, though. But he did get birdied up today for the he interview. Did. I appreciate it. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> <interview. laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's been a good time. Awesome. Awesome. Now, you guys, and, and from everything that I've heard, you have a very energetic live show. Who told you that? I, lots of people outside. They're saying you guys are great. So. All right. Well, I, I'm okay. excited to see you for the first time. So I'm pumped. It works out as you're here. You <laughs> drove all the way from PA, from, man. That's yep, a, hell of a, right. a hell of a drive. <laughs> so, we're actually with Flaw. Have you ever played with them before? No. 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 Okay. Um, we haven't played with them. I saw them in the little town where I'm from. There was a little venue that actually burnt down. Not while they were in it. But, uh, uh, hell of a show, hell of a nice guys. Chris is an amazing guy. Yeah. He'll just stop what he's doing and he'll have a conversation. Yeah. And a lot of guys will not do that. Sure. Why are we talking about places burning down on a night like tonight? Yeah, that's... That's, that's, that's bad. 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 <laughs> I don't know anything about burning places. That will not happen. That, that will not happen, will not happen tonight. tonight. No. It's going to be a nice, safe, it will. fun show. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's all about safety here. Um, <laughs> Aaron is going to attempt to use his uh, flaming drumsticks tonight for the first time live. That's why we're, uh, you know, we're worried about the, the bad omens. Right. Yeah. I, I became a professional at our last practice. Last week. Okay. Last week. <laughs> yeah, last, last Friday. Friday. <laughs> so was, you have an experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. A whole seven days of experience. <laughs> um, I've actually helped people with spinning points and spin a fire. So if he does light himself on fire, I know what to do. Kind of. I'll just point you laugh. I'm just gonna piss. I'm just gonna piss on him. I'm just gonna keep that work. <laughs> I'm just gonna play something really hectic. <laughs> <laughs> just pretend part of the show. Oh, it's supposed to happen. Right. I'll, I'll just push you down. This I'll just draw. That'll work. Yeah, it'll be fun. That'll work. Yeah. But well, no, it is. It is gonna be safe. It is actual poi. Yeah. Poi wick. Poi wick and everything. So it is safe from the looks <laughs> on the <laughs> trial video. And I do have a bucket of water. Yes. Yeah. We're we're good. We're gonna we're be good. good. Excellent. Very cool. Now, you said that you played last week or you're playing next week? We're playing next week. Next okay. week. Okay. Saliva. Nice. So, saliva. So, how many different shows have you guys done? I mean, different bands that you've been with uh, as, as far as these five? We uh, played with Trap. What's Trap? Yeah. Tantric. Tantric. Flaw. Flaw tonight. Saliva. The saliva. And then the locals that we've played oh, with just have been Tons amazing. Divine Eminence, I'm giving them a shout out right now. Yeah. So uh, yeah, they're playing with us tonight. They've been on every show that we've been on this year. <laughs> yeah. And they're great guys. And uh, Rosetti's awesome. Good tattoo artist. And, uh, <laughs> I know before TJ group uh, joined the band, we did play a show with like Metal Mafia and The World I Knew, and they were great guys yes. to play with. Uh, we're yeah. stoked to play with them again. Well, like TJ on. And Dose, we played with Dose. Dose. Yes. yes. Mushrooms has, mushroom has a little baby. Nice. Very cool. 
All right, now, how would you guys describe your sound to fans if they haven't heard you guys? Dad metal. Dad metal. Dad metal. <laughs> Dad metal. Everybody but, but old, uh, yeah, that's our old, uh, what, baby, what's your uh, name? I'm the baby. You know, the baby. <laughs> Dragon Joe Todek? Yeah, Dragon Joe Dragon Todek. Joe Todek. That's, 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 that's the other name. Um, <laughs> we are prog metal, kind of. Kind of. Um, but every song is different. Yeah. Because every, everybody has different influences. So. We try to write closers. We do. They're all closers. <laughs> <They're all> closer. <laughs> we have a set list full of closers. <laughs> You're like, oh, they're done. No. no oh, okay. no, no, we're not done yet. One more. <laughs> we, oh, we, one more. We went through our set list for tonight because of the shows being so close. And I comprised the set list. We all talked about it. So I drew it out and drew little arrows for the claw. And then drew arrows the other way and put saliva. So we, I just turned the set list upside down. Because <laughs> they're all closers. So we figured it'll be it fine. Work. It'll work. Now, we, we, you know, everything that we write comes together so fast. Yeah. It's like, hey, I have this riff. And then 20 minutes later, we have a brand new song. And with the lyrics, I kind of. Wait, did, no. I, did I say that no. out loud? No, sir. <laughs> no, well, we, like, I find vocal lines. And then I'll try to fit syllables into it. Then, like, what do you want the song to be about? All right, hang on, and I'll. <laughs> uh, and our, our opener tonight, we wrote the night before our live streaming show that we yeah. did. Yeah, okay. we played a live stream concert, and we wrote it literally the night before. He comes in, he goes, "Hey guys, I got this riff." All right, play it. Play it again. One more time. I was just like, "What? This is what I got." <laughs> play it one more time. Wait from there. And we got it. All right. And I'm like, and I'm like, oh, you know, I'm like, I would just, I'll just do that. For the live show, I don't need lyrics. <laughs> artists that have influenced you guys. I mean, you know, here in the band and even individually. Well, we can start over here with Scott. Scott? Uh, I grew up listening to a lot of Megadeth. Megadeth. Lots of Megadeth and Maiden and stuff like that. You know, a little bit of the more modern stuff like Bullet and my Kill Switch. Stuff like that. I'm kind of all over the place. I listen to everything. Is that, if I like it, I like it. Yeah. yeah. Some funk, some metal, mostly metal. All over the place. Rage Against the Machines. What about you, Teach? I pretty much like it all. I, mean, I started out when I first started playing, I actually played like, classical music, Beethoven and stuff like that. But eventually went into Led Zeppelin and just kept getting heavier from there. And now it's like, like Devil Wears Prada all the way to uh, System of the Down and everything. You know, everything is pretty much. Sure. Thank you. Nice. Uh, my biggest influence is Spice Girls. <laughs> Not really. Uh, I was actually going to guess that. that was me. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, Slipknot, every, uh, basically everything. Sure. Um, I don't listen to country. I can't it's stand fun. country. Let me rephrase that. This new country pop stuff that's yeah. put out and the accents are all put on just so they yeah. can sell records. Yeah. Um, that's yeah. ridiculous. <laughs> So like Johnny Cash is different. Johnny Cash, Johnny, 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 Johnny Jennings, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's Even Jennings, yeah, exactly. Like that's, Hank III, that's, like a, that's, like a, that's just, real. That's rock. That's still that's that's country. That's southern rock. Yeah. Absolutely, you know. But, CCR. I mean, growing <laughs> growing up, my sister's a couple years older than I am, and she was real big mm -hmm. into um, Skid Row and Motley Crue and all that stuff. So I'm eight, nine years old, rocking out to the Crew and Alice Cooper and all that. And then Slipknot comes along. <laughs> and then <laughs> System of a Down and Corn. Corn's amazing. Uh, it's a little bit of everything. Sure. Nice. I can answer here. I know. My, my top, my number one, Dream Theater. Dream Theater. Dream Theater. Yeah. <laughs> And then, Rush, and then Rush would be number two, Rush and Zeppelin place, would yeah. be number three. I, those are the drummers. Oh, I mean, thanks to RJ, I got my Court Noise actual tattoo on my arm. <laughs> He's been an idol growing up all my life. He is a Yeah, I am. <laughs> <laughs> he had boobs. Um, but, uh, but yeah, He's I would say those joking. three would be my... When it comes to stage performance and how I create my, my drum parts with these guys, I would say they all... All blast beats. All blast beats. <laughs> Speed polka. There you go. That's what I call it. Yeah. Okay. I got my no, leader movie, my three. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, the, as far as what I listen to, I listen to everything. literally everything. I mean, I listen to punk. I He's a Metallica to, fan. I am a Metallica fan. A I little bit. I grew up listening to it. I love it. Uh, but my mom listens to Pat Benatar and to Guns N' Roses and The Judds and mm -hmm. you know, all I was all over the place. My mom loved Marilyn Manson. I was yeah. So my mom was literally all over the place. <laughs> um, as far as my vocals, I don't know. I 
sound like me. I, I never, I, I actually, I never screamed before this band. Really. Um, and I came and auditioned last year, and I'm like, this is, feels like it's what I need to do. I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> you know, and, it, and it worked, and I've just kind of, I've learned how to do it since then without trashing my voice. Sure. It, it's, because what you used to call me, like it was David Draymond and uh, Sully Erna and yeah. something else. You said somebody else. Dancing. Yeah, That's a heck of a mix. <laughs> right. I don't think I'm that good. If, if, if we did yeah. nothing but Metallica and Rob Zombie covers, you could close your eyes. Ooh, and yeah! Do yeah. <laughs> the zombie one now. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! That's, That's Little John. That's Little John. <laughs> yeah. Totally different. Totally different. All right, and so before we leave, a couple more questions. What would you guys recommend to bands that are starting out and you know, hey, what are things to look out for that you run into? What are some successes that you can share? Don't do it. <laughs> run. We're dad metal. Yeah. And, and and my definition of dad metal is we've all been in so many bands. Our dream is to make it. And we're all in our 40s except for our butt baby. I'm not here. 40. <laughs> we're close to our 40s. I'm, I'm 35. I'm close. I'm okay, so I'm the grandpa, I guess. Yeah, you're I'm the Charlie Watts grandpa. of Nine Mile Silence. But we've all been trying. And I actually feel like this group could is the group that could do it. But we've been trying for so long to do this. Good so many this, bands. This is my first band. So I keep your chin up. Say, but I, I feel a lot of confidence in these guys. Yeah. But it's rough. A lot of miles. A lot of your own out-of-pocket money. Yeah, there's no money to be made in playing originals. Mm -hmm. Unless you catch lightning in a bottle. Right. Just don't come in expecting to be the next whoever. The next big thing. Especially in this genre. Right. It's... Rock, rock right now is so hard. Metal, rock, whatever. It, any kind of music right now is so hard. Keep your chin up. Work hard. Don't expect anything. And go in with low expectations, and you'll never be disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> but also, watch out for promoters that will try to jerk you around, too. That's another thing that's huge. Because if you find a good promoter, latch on to them. And just ride that train as long as you can because finding good promoters anymore is sure so that's that's something that's another piece of advice that i think we all will all right so how can fans follow you guys and keep up with you online facebook instagram <laughs> um, um, we have a reverb nation we have a reverb nation we also once we get this record thing rolling we'll be on the digital platforms as well um your spotify's your amazon music sure. your Apple Music on, I think Napster still exists. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah. you know, yeah. Lars did not show that. Down. No, he did not. <laughs> but, you know, we'll be there too. Um, so that'll be coming very soon. Um, we do have a YouTube channel as well. There's a few videos on there right now. Um, but we're still trying to build a catalog of stuff sure. that we want to put out there. Um, you know, just look us up. And feel free to look up any of us too, I'm sure. That, yeah. And there's no crazy stalkers out there, I think. <laughs> But you just broke that fourth wall. <laughs> I'm gonna end up missing. We actually have a song about a crazy song. We, do. we, don't we have actually it. do. We're not playing it tonight, but we have a song called Number One Fan about it. Like, like it was inspired by the movie Misery. Gotcha. Yeah. So we actually nice. we're, we're we're waiting for you. It was inspired Come by on. Misery and possibly Tool because it's like what nine minutes long. Uh, it's, it's way too long. So it's like a half. It's like a half a Tool song. So. It, yeah. <laughs> it's like yeah. It's like we're recording it. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of recording, we are going back into the studio to finish our album up. We are. Um, you have a name for that yet? No. The album? Yeah. Um, no. No. And I went live earlier, and I, and I don't know how many tracks we're going to put on it, but we honestly we have enough tracks to make two albums. We do. <laughs> we do. Double so, double disc. We could do, do a double that? disc for, do that for our premiere. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, you know, just look us up, man. We're everywhere. The interwebs. <laughs> All right, and before we go, is there anything else you guys want to say to fans out there? Hi, Dad. <laughs> Scott is waiting for you to come home. You left for cigarettes three years ago. It's been this longer. This is ridiculous. It's been longer. It's been longer. <laughs> I like that. No, we really appreciate you guys. We yeah. really do. And I say at every show that none of this would happen without any of you guys out there. And the fans are what make all this stuff possible. Sure, absolutely. You know, we like when we played that live stream show, it was so strange. We're just up around stage with the sound guy and the light guy. Yeah. It's like, just got that back. We played shows like this before. <laughs> I had so many people comment because he actually walked in circles. I, I didn't know what to do. Show. <laughs> like, I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> but, you know, if it wasn't for the fans, this wouldn't be worth doing. Sure. Yeah. 
without the fans, it's not we're nothing. So yeah. it's everything that we are. A well, few we have. Right. <laughs> right. We're working on it. We're working on that. <laughs> but we are we're nothing without our fans. So that's. I, th I think our I, th I think our fan base is growing here in Dayton just because we've saturated Dayton oh, so much. Oh, we're saturated. So saturated. Saturation. But we're <laughs> gonna give it. We're gonna give Dayton a little bit of a break. Uh, yeah, I think we need to chill out on the Dayton. <laughs> Columbus, where are you at? If you know anybody that wants to book us, check out our live feeds on Facebook. Our live videos. We got plenty of. Good performances on there. You can check out and decide whether you want to book us or not. Watch this guy. Uh, get on this guy's Facebook. He's live every five minutes. Yes. So, so if you turn on the notifications, you'll get a lot of them. I turned them off. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll go ahead. We'll put all the links down below the video so you can check out everything that they have out there. So again, guys, thank you so much for this. Very oh, thank thanks you. for talking. Make sure you check out Nine Mile Silence. They're a great band. They're going to put on a heck of a show tonight. And again, every time you guys stop by, we love it. We love spending this time with you. Uh, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to us. And in the meantime, thanks for stopping by. We love you. God bless. And rock on.